Hello everyone, it's WhiteGamer7 here, and today we have the best tall striker built. This build is used by my teammate in competitive, and of course it works in division as well. So let's get right into it. So for the position, you're going to want striker. For the height, you're going to want 6'2", and then the weight, you're going to want 149 pounds, and then the foot, whether you're righty or lefty. So this is how we're going to have our position, our height, and our weight. Now for the running style, he uses the right train i think this might be the holland running style i'm not too sure but he uses the fright train which it's really good especially when you're tall because it kind of like your body gets leaned forward and it just makes you guy look like more of a bully when you're running with the ball so go with the fright train for the running style now for the three perks first one is we're gonna go with tyler's runner keep in mind when he plays striker he tends to drop a little bit to show for the ball but it's good to have the Tyler's run as a striker in general because once you start getting to the 70, 75th minute, a lot of attackers, their stamina is low. And then the defenders were going to have a lot of stamina left. So you do definitely want to have Tyler's runner for your strike. You know, your stamina is still good throughout the 90 minutes. The next perk he went with is the skill dribbler. You definitely want to have the skill dribbler because it's going to increase your dribbling and skill move ability when you're on the ball keep in mind you're going to be 6'2 so the dribbling isn't going to be the greatest already so this perk is going to definitely help out with those animations and make it a tad bit smoother for the third perk we went with the first time shot this is to increase your finishing and your head and your heading ability for the first time shot so when a teammate passes you the ball and you shoot it that first time that's going to increase the chances of you scoring and it's really very useful or you can also go with the poacher which is in a booster shooting from inside the box but you're going to see why we went with this one instead of the poacher the finishing stats on this build is going to be very high so these are the three perks we went with tireless runner skill dribbler and first time shots now we have the skill tree remember i'm level 100 and we have 185 skill points so for the physical you're going to want the strength and then you're going to want the bolt archetype and then you're going to want just one stamina this is going to give you 76 jumping and your 6'2", 81 stamina, 90 strength. You're going to be a big, big issue for the defenders to get you off the ball with 85 reactions and then 77 reactions. And also, that jumping is good enough for as an attacker. Um, some defenders are definitely going to struggle to try to beat you in the air with uh, the jumping in the height that you have. So then for dribbling, you're going to want it like this. You're going to want your agility, your dribbling, the skill moves, all this dribbling completely maxed out. And then for this part of the dribbling, all maxed out. You're going to get the links archetype and then the balance, all this. So this is going to give you 75 agility, which trust me, that is good for a tall striker. And you're going to have the skill dribbler, which is going to you know help the dribbling and the skill a bit more. You're going to have the 89 balance, which is going to be very, very difficult for defenders to knock you off the ball. 99 attacking positioning that only matters if you play as an any 93 ball control which is very good for a tall striker and then 87 dribbling with the five star skill moves um our striker does like to skill here and there and it's good to be able to skill and have your your opponent guessing where you're going to go with the skill moves now for passing he just has it on short passing even though your job is to finish and get goals for your teammates so there's going to be scenarios where we're gonna, you're at the go for an extra pass or look for your teammates for the pass so he went with the 86 short passing which is more than enough um out of this stat this is the most important one even though the curve is low um that that is more than enough you're going to be like a, a straight up holland type of build this build that we, we have going on right here so now we have the shooting you're going to want your penalties selected and then the weak foot and then the sniper archetype and then you're going to want your long shots the weak foot, and then the finisher archetype with the finishing. So this is going to give you 97 finishing. That is so high. You're going to be scoring as a lot of goals. 84 free kicks. That's good if you are if you take free kicks in your team. 78 head and accuracy. That's more than enough. With 94 shot power, 93 long shots, 86 volleys, and you have the 5-star weak foot as an attacker. As a striker, it is important to have a 5-star weak foot. So this is how you're going to have your shooting just like this now for the pace you're gonna want it completely maxed out remember you're six two <clears throat> and you're kind of of a heavy build so you're gonna need as much pace as possible and you do want to be faster than your defenders so this is gonna give you 89 acceleration 
93 sprint speed. If we take a look at the overall build, you're going to be 91 rated with 91 pace. That is a lot of pace for a tall striker. 84 physical, 88 dribbling, and then 92 shooting. Like I said, boys and girls, my teammate uses this for competitive, and it's very, very, very good build. Some of you guys have seen him. He plays as Holland as a striker, and he completely dominates the defender. Let me know what you guys think of this build. Let me know if you would change anything. Give me your feedback in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time.